What's up, world? It's your boy Kenny Corey, man. And I recently took a trip to Las Vegas from out of here in Houston. I flew out of the George Bush International Airport. And I want to give you guys a few tips on how to travel and navigate that airport because it can get a little difficult. It is a huge airport for no reason. Things can get out of hand pretty quickly. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so first of all, I would recommend coming into the airport from the Beltway because it seems like a shorter distance to go from the Beltway directly up from like the south side going directly north. I can't remember what the name of that street is, but at least directly into the airport from the south side. And then also they have a lot of signs positioned right off of the side of the road so you can be able to see where you're going. And so it shouldn't be too hard to find out exactly what terminal that your plane is flying out of. And to be honest, I think most of the domestic flights that you're gonna be flying if you're staying in the US are gonna be flying out of Terminal A. I was flying Spirit whenever I flew and that was out of Terminal A. Now for me and Taja, we actually live in Houston, so we were driving ourselves to the airport. We didn't take an Uber. But Uber from like pretty much anywhere in Houston, like downtown-ish or lower, is gonna cost you probably about 45 to 55, maybe even 60 bucks if you try to Uber. And parking your car in the parking garage is like $25 a day. So anyway, after you park in the parking garage, um, the terminals A and B are merged together from the same parking garage. On one side of the parking garage is terminal A entrance and the other side of the park parking garage is terminal B's entrance. Make sure you pay attention to how you're going in to park because there, are, there will be these LED displays that show you how many empty spots are on each level. But be careful because if you go to a level that doesn't have any empty spots, then you'll have to come all the way out of the parking garage, all the way exit, and then enter back again just to be able to go up to the next level. I think that's kind of crazy, but it's just the way the airport's designed. So once you enter the airport through the parking garage, you'll be on the floor below where all of the check-in actually is. So you'll have to walk down a hallway that's not too long, maybe about, I don't know, like 200 yards, and then catch an elevator to go up to the second floor, which is where all the check-ins for all the different airlines for depending on what terminal you're in, that's where you'll be checking in. Now, I have flown out of Bush before and gotten there at like six o'clock in the morning to I think fly from Houston to Orlando and the line was like almost wrapped around the building how long the line was just to catch the flight. So make sure that you are there early enough. I, was, I got there three hours ahead of time and I still almost missed my flight. All right, so after you check in and you're going through security, um, security can be kind of slow. It depends on what time of the day is or really what's going on. If there's like any threat levels, I'm not exactly sure what the threat level or how to check it. I would suggest already having like your passport or your ID already ready as you're going through the lines because, because it just helps things move just that much faster. The line that we were in was kind of long. It was, and it moved moderately fast. It wasn't really too slow. It wasn't too slow. It was just a lot of instructions that they were giving you. Like for example, if you have like a laptop or a device that's bigger than like a cell phone that's in your bag, you might want to kind of position those whenever you're packing your bag to be really easily accessible to just kind of pull out because my laptop and my cameras, iPads, stuff like that, I had to have each one of those things pulled out separately and put it into a bin on their own as I was going through checkouts. But yeah, once you get to the security point, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can use the signs up at the top of everything that tell you you know, depending on like what terminal you're in, like if you're, let's say for example, you're in A11, you'll see a sign that says A1 through 17, and you know 11 falls into that, you'll go that direction. So Bush International Airport is pretty good at helping you self-navigate. Now, when you finally get to the terminal, I know depending on how nice of an airport it is, you may be able to charge your phones and devices at your seats. Well, at Bush International, I don't remember there being any plugs. I know me and the girls were on our devices and I had to get up and go find a plug to be able to charge my phone because also there's not any outlets on the plane. So you really wanna be topped off with as much energy as you possibly can. There are these like little stations that are free for you to be able to plug your phone in. And no, you don't need one of those blocks. If you just have the USB in of your charger, it can plug directly into like a USB slot on those little chargers. But yeah, once we got on the flight, man, it was a pretty, pretty dope flight. Um, I feel like the crew and the pilot were really nice. They um, handled themselves very professionally on the spirit flight we took. But once again, we were going to Las Vegas. So once we touched down, we finally were able to check into our room pretty quickly. We were staying at the Link Hotel, which will be a whole nother YouTube video. But yeah, as soon as we checked in, we were able to go start exploring immediately and walking around and seeing what 
the Vegas nightlife had to offer. And really, we were just there just to do a lot of sightseeing. We really didn't plan on drinking or anything like that. There's plenty of opportunities to drink. But yeah, if you guys learned something, I hope you guys did. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. And I have more videos, more travel things going on that I will be putting on this channel. Way more stuff coming, way more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.